guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be making some bliss balls for a picnic tomorrow and then um, talking to our new vegan friend about her vegan journey. So I'll include this recipe in the description below. I'm, I'm sort of winging it at the moment and making it up. But I started with some dates. They're not the standard dates. They're slightly different. I just got them from the bulk bins at the supermarket. But I'm popping about a cup and a half of these into this glass bowl and then I'm going to pour some boiling water on top to soften them. And then I'm going to wait for maybe 10-15 minutes until they're nice and soft and then I'm going to mix them with almond butter and some raw cacao powder. So I've finished mixing the bliss balls for now and I think um, I've added enough extra uh, almond butter and cacao so I've just put them in the mixture in the fridge to firm up a little bit before I roll them into balls. So this mixture has been in the fridge for about half an hour and I'm using um, a spoon and a teaspoon um, to make little balls and put into here. I'm thinking of wetting the spoon with water because I know that when you're scooping ice cream that helps um, the ice cream slide off the spoon um, more easily so hopefully it has the same effect when I'm making bliss balls, we'll see. It is a very sticky mixture, so I'm thinking that the bliss balls might not be perfect balls this time. They might just be more of a, a blob, but a very delicious blob, I hope. the first three. I filled one tray with my messy bliss balls. I'm going to pop them in the fridge but I think I've got so much mixture that I'm going to need another tray which is always a good thing because the bliss balls are so delicious more is better. So we're here in the community green space for a little picnic um, looking very delicious. We're going to have a bit of a chat about what we've made and then have a wee chat about our vegan journeys. Hi guys, so we're here in the park and we're having a picnic um, and this is my new friend and fellow YouTuber. We're both quite new to the game so we thought we'd have a wee picnic and show you guys what we've got. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hey guys, <laughs> I'm Sam. Thanks for having me today. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, so what I've got is these bliss balls which um, you saw me make before. They've got the raw cacao, the almond butter and uh, the dates. What have you got? I have the chickpea, avocado, um, tortilla cups. Um, yeah. Very delicious and as you can see we've been enjoying them already. Would you like to assemble one for us? Yep. Very easy, eh? <laughs> easy on the eye and yummy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think you did a good job. I, I like the chocolate. Your bliss feels better. Really? Chocolate I'm actually more into yours now <laughs> because. Um, yeah, these are nice in moderation, but definitely the move is in four tier cups. So, um, how long have you been vegan? Oh, right. Um, um, for the last six months, I've been vegan again. I've been vegetarian for like eight years. Wow. Yeah. 
was vegan for three. And now I'm vegan again. Yay! <laughs> Welcome um, back to the club. Yeah. Eight years is a decent length of time to be vegetarian. That's really cool. Um, besides these tortilla cups, do you have like a favourite vegan dish? Mm. Tempeh. Marinated tempeh. So good. Yeah. Um, and it's fermented as well, so that's supposed to be really good for your gut, eh? Yeah, mm. that's cool. yeah I definitely think I prefer tempeh to tofu. Yeah, same. I'm the same. <laughs> it's more, got more to it. It's got more of a texture that's really cool. Um, and do you have any like vegan dishes that you want to try out in the future? Making? Um, I'd love to make like like a layered cake because like, I just think it would be like a challenge and um, it's something I've never, never done before so Maybe like baking or something. Yeah, I don't know. baking would be cool. Um, would by layered cake would it be like each level is a different flavor? Or could be. Yeah. <laughs> like chocolate cool. or banana, like Ooh, banana yeah. cake. Yum. Yeah, I'd say bananas up there with my favorite cakes. It's been cool. Have you ever made like any banana cakes before? A vegan banana cake. No. Oh yeah. Yep. Um, I think they actually turned out better than my, like, non-vegan one. I don't know why. I think it was just, like, the texture of it, or whatever the ingredients were. Yeah. Just made it a little bit, um, I don't know, lighter or something. Because do you, did, for that cake, did you use, like, a linseed egg instead of an egg? Yep. Oh, wow, I've never tried that um, before. Um, it was, oh, sorry, no, it was, um, flaxseed. Flaxseed um, is linseed. Oh, linseed. <laughs> <laughs> but did you use ground flaxseed or like um, whole flaxseed? Um, ground, yeah, ground, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would definitely like to try that. We should do it sometime. <laughs> um, what else should I ask? Hmm. Um, if you had a dog, if you don't, I'm not sure if you've got a dog or not, but um, would you consider making a dog go vegan? <laughs> Oh. Dogs actually don't have to eat meat. They're, mm, they're I love this by one. nature omnivores. They're true omnivores. Humans are supposed to supposedly supposed to be um, plant eaters, and then cats are obviously carnivores. But dogs actually could go vegan. I think. I could. I'd be. I'd be open to it. I'm not quite there yet, but I think I'd be open to that. Cool. Um, I don't have a dog yet, but one no, day I think it would be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um. My dog Cookie, which viewers might have already noticed if you've watched my, one of my vlogs, um, he loves eating like rice, um, root vegetables like carrots and um, kumra. Um, there is a list of foods that dogs can't eat, which includes chocolate, so you couldn't have these, <laughs> um, onions, I think garlic, raisins, things like that. Um, yeah, but there is a lot they can eat that's vegan. So this is Sam enjoying her tortilla cups. Mm. <laughs> We're not having any problem polishing them off. <laughs> That's the truth. Yum. And we're so lucky with the weather today. The sun's out in full force. I feel like do a flip. <laughs> Come on, do it for the fans. 